What up, y'all? Blue Player here. Gonna go ahead and talk about the matter of character, which is an article that Undead Labs posted yesterday. Uh, it's about skills and character skills, all that good stuff. It's on UndeadLabs.com if you want to read it for yourself. It's right under the big red skull, but it is long as hell. If you want to read it, go for it, but I'm gonna cover all of it right now, and I want to go ahead and get into it because this thing is going to take for freaking ever. If I get this video under 10 minutes, I deserve a like. <laughs> Either way, we'll go ahead and get started real quick. real quick. The first thing they start talking about is the basic skills that every single character is going to have. Uh, they are cardio, wit, fighting, and shooting. Cardio is how long you can run, how fast you can run, how much you can carry, how strong you are. Wits is how well you keep it together in case of a zombie attack. If a zombie busts through your room in the middle of the night, are you going to get eaten or are you going to jump out the window? Fighting is hand-to-hand -hand combat. If you fight hand-to-hand, -hand, that's great for you. I'm more of a shooting, which is the next skill, which is gun handling. They are all set up in a 1 to 7 star ranking. So the more you shoot guns, the better you're going to be at shooting. The more you run, the better you're going to be at running. Each one of those skills, as you improve in them, gives you better uh, stats, I guess you could say. As you improve in cardio, you get more maximum stats. Stamina. As you improve in wits, you improve your searching speed or your scavenging speed. Uh, as you improve in fighting, you get maximum vitality gets improved, which would be your hand-to-hand -hand combat. Uh, but vitality, I'm willing to bet, is your health. Uh, as you improve in shooting, it reduces the recoil of all the weapons. And then at the end, they threw in leadership. Now, leadership, I'm not too sure about. I do know that when you improve it, uh, when you gain trust, you gain more trust. I don't know how you get it, pretty much. I'm guessing it's just when you start leading your community, pretty much. And each one of these skills, as you improve, some of them get certain, I want to say, like, perks. Like when you increase fighting, which is hand-to-hand, -hand, at a certain point you will learn the ability counterattack. Sort of like Assassin's Creed, as you get better, you get certain things. Not entirely sure how you get them or which ones there are, but they are there. Alright, so then they start talking about individuality. And what I mean by that is each character is going to have a different personality. Some are going to be assholes, some are going to be born leaders, some are going to be selfish, some are going to be super talkative. And it's your job to set your community up to where it benefits from all these different personalities. In State of Decay, you don't have a main character. You have a whole community, which is in... A strange way the main character uh, then they also have physical natural and they have sort of like what they did before the zombie apocalypse uh, traits someone who was a marathon runner before the zombie apocalypse starts off with better cardio uh, someone who is shooting guns starts off with better shooting and then they have the natural skills someone who's a born leader probably has better leadership skills than someone who was just born normal uh, then they have physical traits and what I mean by that, if someone has bad knees and they're crouching, their stamina is going to slowly deplete because of the bad knee while they're crouched. Uh, I don't have too much more on the physical traits. I want, I wish I knew more. There can be good and bad, but they didn't post too much. Uh, just because that sounds really interesting that they threw that in. Uh, other than that, that's pretty much it for all those. Okay, and so then they start talking about personal skills. These aren't the same as the individuality skills. These are like your main classes. Uh, the main types. Like there's bruiser, construction, leadership, counseling, sexing, and sports trivia. I'll talk about sexing and sports trivia separately, but right now I want to focus on the main four. Uh, bruisers are like your natural athletes. They have unique physical attacks and can do more without using stamina. And they can use bigger guns. They're your attackers, your scavengers, your defenders. Uh, the main muscles in the community. Then there's construction. These guys are your architects. They build more advanced workshops. They maintain all the workshops. They're going to be building all your weapons. All that good stuff. Then there's leadership. These are your born leaders. Uh, they can cheer on survivors, which helps them. It boosts their effectiveness in combat. And then it can also taunt zombies, which lure zombies to them. And at a certain point, when they gain enough leadership, they can actually pull zombies away from other survivors and attract them to themselves. Then there's your counselors. These are your people, peop your person people. I don't know how to pronounce that right now. Um, 
they can calm the communities down during conflicts. If things get bad, your counselor's just going to be like, it's okay, guys, breathe. How does it make you feel? Um, they raise the spirits. They're, they're pretty much the cheerleaders for the community. And now I'll start talking about the sexting and the sports trivia. Sexting, they didn't have too much information on it. Pretty much that they were your flirtatious people before the zombie apocalypse happened. And that's about it. I'm willing to bet sexting and sports trivia. Sports trivias are the guys who can be like, oh, well, Tebow scored 316 yards and passing and something. And I think these guys are more like, if you need bruisers, you can work on them to become bruisers. If you need construction and leadership, you can work on sexting and sports trivia to morph into construction and leadership. Uh, other than that, I don't have any really information on what they are. I don't imagine sports trivia is too important, so you're going to morph them into something that is. Uh, but sexting could be important. It could be. I don't know if you can have any children in this game, but that would definitely be a way to go if sexting was a major part. Okay, so then it starts talking about weapon specialization, and I had no idea it was coming into this article, so it was pretty crazy to me, but either way, it starts talking about how you have to pick either guns or melee, and when you pick guns, you have to pick a certain type. It's either sniper rifles, pistols, shotguns, or whatever, and then you go into melee, and it's either hack and slash or bludgeoning. I don't know if that's how it's pronounced, um, but you only, either, you only get to pick one. It's either... Melee or guns. And then it only unlocks at a certain level. Guns unlocks at shooting level 4 and melee unlocks at fighting level 4. And each one of those specializations has a certain skill tree to it. So once I pick weapons, and I pick shotguns, pistols, sniping, they all have their own little skill tree. You can get better at certain things, and with weapons, it's the same thing. Hack and slash, you can get better at knives, better at machetes, all that good stuff. And each character only gets one. That's what you got to be careful about. I didn't think that's how it would be. So when you pick you want to be better at guns, you better know you want to be better at guns. But each character, so you can switch to a different character, is better at certain things. Uh, so don't worry about it too much. But I like how they did that. That's really important. Not one character would be like a straight up badass and know everything. So I love how they did that. Okay, and so now they start talking about signature abilities. These are going to build off of the traits that you've already picked. Let's say you have a bruiser and he's a level 1. He can learn push kick. Let's say you have a bludgeoning guy. And he's a level 3. He can learn spinning backhand. These are going to build off of all the stuff that you've already set up. It's going to give them that little extra edge in customization. And what's really cool about this is all this stuff is set up to where it's not just one character surviving the zombie apocalypse. It's a whole community. And they set it up to where it can pretty much go with any style. If you're stealthier, you're going to have a stealthy community set up. If you're more... Beat him up and just go in there and smack the crap out of every single zombie. You're going to have a bludgeoning or a bruiser. You're going to have a whole bunch of them in your community. And I love how they did that. They really touched all bases. They went super in-depth. It's just a well-rounded game. Uh, then they started talking about uh, other stuff. Sort of like a rounded-out scenario. And I'll go ahead and I'll post the picture up and then I'll talk through it with you guys. Uh, the first one is Thomas Ritter. Um... He's got a whole bunch of stuff. Carpenter, travel, camping, organizer, and fa father figure. Uh, as you can see, each one sort of gives him a perk. Uh, when he's traveling, he gets plus one wit. When he's camping, he gets plus two wits and cardio. Uh, not sure if that's just him when he's doing it or that's because he's done it. Uh, Carpenter, he provides the construction skill. Organizer, he provides the leadership skill. Father figure, he protects others against fear. Also objects to selfish actions by the community. I, I love how they give him these little certain parts that reflect what he's done and his skills. Uh, he has got a starting gun, starting weapon. Not sure if he's just set to build off of those or if you get a pick. Uh, there's a couple more. I'll go ahead and talk about the Sam Hoffman. He's an iron... Call I'm iconoclast. 
I guess you, I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. Um, his resistance to fear becomes intensive when she's feeling good about something. Oh, this is a girl. My bad. It becomes intensive when she's feeling good about something or herself. Uh, service job. She gets plus one wit. Uh, eagle-eyed. Faster shooting skill improvement. So when she's shooting, her skill would rank up faster than a normal person who didn't have eagle-eyed. Uh, great reflexes. Provides acrobatic skills. That's what I was talking about. Um sort of abilities starting guns different starting weapon all that good stuff uh go check them out on go check the article out on undeadlabs.com read it for yourself see what you get from it it's really long i gotta warn you don't don't be afraid though it looks intimidating but you just get sucked into it it's such a great article uh check out all my other videos if you're new to the game and you're just wanting to learn more i have a whole bunch i know a lot of people have been wondering about the multiplayer i have a video up for that i have all the weapons up all the vehicles i've gone through every trailer and analyzed them thanks for all the support thanks for subscribing and i will see you guys on the next video